enough is enough. I think it's time that certain people have their feet held to the fire because you can't just act any way you want to all the time, whether it be in professional life or your personal life, and not be held accountable. Sometimes people just need to be canceled. And that's kind of what's going on right now. With this open letter to remove Richard Stallman from his leadership position at the Free Software Foundation, it is an open letter to remove not just Richard Stallman, but the entire board at the Free Software Foundation for, quote, enabling Richard. So this whole movement is mainly it's been spearheaded by a lot of the people at the Gnome Foundation. People like uh, Neil McGovern are really pushing this thing. Most of the board members at the Gnome Foundation have signed this petition. You got all kinds of people that are associated with with GNOME in some way really spearheading this. Now one of the problems with all of these prominent GNOME figures doing this is GNOME has a code of conduct. If we go to the GNOME code of conduct, for one thing the scope of the code of conduct it pretty much applies anywhere. It, I have a real problem with this <laughs> code of conduct but one of the things that these guys wanted is anything that you do anywhere anytime whether it's really a GNOME event not a GNOME event <laughs> wherever you happen to be on uh, social media or GitHub GitLab wherever we're watching you all the time and you must abide by our code of conduct. So I would assume that this applies to people like Neil McGovern and people on the board at the GNOME Foundation. Here are the names of the uh, board members here. Now this letter about removing Richard Stallman. Richard Stallman was forced to resign his position at the Free Software Foundation 18 months ago. He was punished and now they're letting him back and then these people at the Gnome Foundation are attacking him once again. And it's very strange. It's like they're stalking the guy. They're following him around. He can never uh, repent for anything he's ever done. He, he can never be forgiven. And if we go to the Gnome Code of Conduct, these people, the entire board at the Gnome Foundation, they are violating their own code of conduct. For one thing, this is a very nasty letter, and they say some rather outrageous things about Richard Stallman. They label him as a misogynist, an ableist, as transphobic, and many other things <laughs> going on here. And in the GNOME Code of Conduct, you are asked specifically to be friendly, use welcoming and inclusive language. Obviously, there is no welcoming or inclusive language anywhere in that open letter to remove Richard Stallman. It says, be respectful. When we disagree, we do so in a polite and constructive manner. Is anything in this letter constructive? I will link to the letter, by the way, in the show description so you guys can read this rather disgusting thing here that they put together. Going back to the Gnome Code of Conduct, we have inappropriate behaviors. Now, I would assume these are behaviors that are serious offenses that people should be suspended for or maybe even expelled from the project for. And these include things like deliberate intimidation, stalking, or following. So, deliberate intimidation, stalking, following. You mean like following a guy around for nearly two years after he had already been punished for something and then asking he be punished a second time? That seems like deliberate intimidation, stalking, and following to me. We also have sustained disruption of online discussions, talks, and other events. Now, I would assume that this includes things that are not necessarily GNOME events, because remember the scope of the Code of Conduct, we're watching you everywhere, including over on GitHub. And I would say uh, this is rather disruptive, what they're doing here. I would also say they violate influencing or encouraging inappropriate behavior. If you influence or encourage another person to violate the Code of Conduct, you may face the same consequences as if you had violated the code of conduct yourself. So the board members here, Neil McGovern and all of these people on the GNOME board, they know that they are violating the code of conduct and they are openly asking people to sign the petition and pile on <laughs> Stallman and the Free Software Foundation. They are openly asking for people within their community to join them in violating the code of conduct. I think this is rather despicable behavior by all of these people that are in leadership positions at the Gnome Foundation, and really, they should know better. So let me once again show you guys the names of some of the members of the board here, because you guys need to know these names, because 
The current leadership of the Gnome Foundation has shown itself to be a dangerous and divisive force in the free and open source software communities. Much of their energy these days is spent on trying to tear people down rather than building software, right? They, they're not interested in building great free and open source software anymore, right? Right now, they are mainly out there pushing political agendas and trying to destroy those they disagree with politically. And I think we, the community, we've endured their repugnant ideas and behavior for far too long. And I urge the GNOME community and the greater free software and open source communities to call for the immediate removal of the entire board of the GNOME Foundation. These are the people who have flagrantly violated their own code of conduct and enabled others within the GNOME community to do so. It is time for the GNOME community to actually be a community again, right? A community needs to be a friendly place where everyone is welcomed, and the ideals of free and open source software are lauded rather than disparaged. So I implore you guys, demand the removal of these people right now. Again, I'll show the names here on the screen. These guys need to be removed, not just from their leadership positions, but from being able to participate in any way with the GNOME project or associated activities. I urge those that are in a position to do so, please stop supporting the GNOME Foundation. Refuse to contribute to projects related to GNOME. Don't speak at any GNOME events. Don't participate in any way. Don't participate in any events that welcome prominent GNOME leadership. I also ask that you guys take a stand against hate. I asked you to defend the GNOME Foundation from being destroyed from within by these people that have such little respect for it and its ideals. They don't respect the ideals of GNOME. They flagrantly violate their own code of conduct, after all. So I ask you, let your voice be heard. Let your voice be heard to those within the GNOME project. Let them know that this isn't something that you will forget about a few weeks, a few months, or even a few years down the road. You will never forget. There can never be forgiveness for people like these. They must go.